Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back. Be sure to subscribe if you're new here. You click on the bell notifications. Two things once again. Subscribe and turn on the bell notifications and we're good to go. This video is about FameBit. I'll try to make this a real brief video. I am not sponsored by FameBit whatsoever to make this video. So I'm just going to explain my experience using FameBit um, as a, hey, call myself this, a influencer or a YouTuber. I don't mind calling myself a YouTuber, uh, influencer. Oh, hate that word. But anyway, I've made, I've made over a thousand dollars using FameBit. FameBit is basically a platform owned by YouTube, first of all. It is a platform where you can go to be sponsored by different brands. Hope I made sense. Again, I've made over a thousand dollars using FameBit. It is by far one of my most favorite ways of making some extra money. We're talking $250, $500. The biggest pro is, again, you can make a lot of money using FameBit. One of the biggest cons is just because you may request to work with a brand, that brand or brands may reject your offer. I've contacted lots of brands and got rejected left or right. I mean, <laughs> hundreds of times. That is, again, one of the biggest cons about FameBit is sometimes you may get rejected left to right. If you have a huge following, that may be a big help. Another big pro of FameBit is lots and lots of beauty makeup type sponsorships. If you're into tech, there are a lot of tech brands looking for YouTubers, influencers to review their products or services. It really is to me, one of the best ways to earn some extra money as a YouTuber or an influencer. I don't really wanna just do any other job because they pay me money to do it. Like. It has to kind of fit the theme of my channel, which is like fitness and veganism and all that stuff. So there's just an insane amount of brands who are into, again, beauty and makeup and stuff, tech. So there is plenty, I won't say work, but there's so much opportunity, I'll say, to earn some extra money using FameBit. I don't just want a check and that's it. Like I want to work with a brand for years to come, like a, a like a long-term relationship. And I've made that with a lot of brands. It's not just all about money. I'm going to make money regardless, but long relationship with a brand is what I really want to do. Affiliate programs, all these things, but just exposing what they're doing. If it's something that I really, something that I'm a fan of, basically, I want to expose this I'll just, I'll even do it for free. Like, I want to see this grow. Like, this is amazing stuff. I've made friends with some people who work in these companies. I want to build relationships long term. Like, this is, this is what I really want to do. And I'm going to make money regardless. So I'm not worried about money, but just to have that relationship and just network and just keep on building from that. That one sponsorship became a blossom into like this great opportunity of just meeting people and making more money, really, and just exposing whatever they're doing that you're a fan of to your audience or just to the world. This It's just great. Do more for the brand. So basically, if the brand only wants you to do a video on YouTube and just to talk about their product or services, me personally, I would just post everywhere on every social channel that I have. So not only do I just post on YouTube, but on TikTok, IG, Facebook. If I'm a fan of what they're doing, the brand, I expose this product or service everywhere. And that's what you should do. Like just go beyond just what they're um, requesting for you to do. Just make a video, talk about it. And that's it. It is your money. Like go like above and beyond what they expected from you. Like this would, this, this would really help the brand want to work with you more. You know what I mean? Like that's just another check um, in, in the future. If they see you're really trying to push their product. I guess it's not really like a pro or a con. It's just go above and beyond for the brands and just promote their product and make just make them happy you know like this is this is what a company wants like they're looking for you to basically be a marketer like you're marketing their product or services do more free stuff post everywhere if, if you can and make them happy because that's what they want to see they're really going just beyond what they were just expecting from you and that's what helped me made more money on famebit and outside of famebit I have a great relationship with a lot of brands. They still send me free stuff today. This is a major con with FameBit. I would not rely on FameBit as a full-time job. You may not you may not receive or get a sponsorship in a whole month. So that means no money for you all month. You know what I mean? Like that's very, very possible to happen. I wouldn't rely on FameBit as a full-time job or something. It is a great online business. To get $500 for speaking about a product that you're a fan of, that's some good pay. That's really good pay. 
You know, it's it's amazing. I've, I've made so much money by just simply recording me speaking about a product that I like, of course. You are exchanging eight hours of your day or more for a paycheck. That is, that is, that's horrible. <laughs> that is terrible. So comparing that to FameBit, it is a dream come true. And like I said, like there's so much opportunity on FameBit. It's, it's insane. Once again, if you're into beauty or tech, cooking, culinary, like there's so much opportunity on FameBit. I highly recommend signing up for FameBit and apply for some sponsorships. Go for it. Maybe this may be a major con to some people, but I don't think it is. FameBit does take 10% of your pay, okay? 10%. Now, I think that's perfect because I'm sure other companies take way more than that. But on top of that, they have all the rights to take a cut from your pay because without them, you wouldn't be sponsored by this brand. Like FameBit is the middle person. They are the middleman. They have the brands, the clients, and then they have you and other YouTubers, influencers who are looking for sponsorships. And these brands or clients are looking for YouTubers like yourself or influencers to speak about their service and brand. So it makes sense to me that FameBit does get 10% of your cut because again, without them, you wouldn't be able to get this sponsorship. You would not be able to connect with this brand. It's perfect. Thanks to FameBit, I've met a lot of people. I work with a lot of brands. FameBit helped me make a lot of money. So the 10%, I'm cool with that. Like, take it. So that is fine with me. Again, this may be a major con to some people, you watching this, 10%, but it is what it is. They have to make their money too. So I'm all for it. And here's another con about working in FameBit. It's not really their fault, but when you do apply to a sponsorship, let's say you were hired from the brand to make a video or a post about whatever product or service they are trying to promote, and you make the video and it's done and you send the video send the video back to FameBit and FameBit gives the video to the company to review and approve the video, sometimes they may not respond back to you within a week. Like you can get done with the video a week before and there's no response for like a whole entire week. That happened to me. <laughs> I definitely would not make this like a full-time job because things happen. Like I said, some, some brands won't respond back to you within a week. So that's a whole week of that of you not making any money, you're waiting on some approval, like that's terrible, you know, but that's not FameBit's fault, but this may happen. So that is a major, major con to me, um, just wasting time and waiting for some kind of approval from, you know, the brand and then you receive your money. So be on the lookout for that because that is very common. Some brands may take even longer than a week, who knows? So yeah, that is a major, major con to me. Another big pro of working in FameBit is collaborations. You have the opportunity to request to collaborate with other YouTubers via FameBit. So I think that's really cool. I have not yet gotten the chance to work with other YouTubers, but I did get requests from other people, other YouTubers wanted to work with me via FameBit. I did decline the offer. My theme is fitness, wellness, veganism, and if whether it's a brand or a YouTuber wanting to collaborate, we have to fit, like we have to, we have to be on the same page. So these YouTubers who requested to work with me, we were not on the same page. Like some people were doing barbecue videos or like gardening, like, listen, man, thank you for the offer, but I don't just work with any old body. Like we have to really have the same exact, you know, niche, niche, right? Like it makes sense. But like I said, you can collaborate with other people on FameBit, other YouTubers, which is an amazing opportunity. You guys may have the same amount of followers or subscribers. So now if you were to make a video, their fans becomes your fans and vice versa. Your fans becomes that person or people's fans. This is a tip to all the newbies on FameBit. When you are requesting to work with a brand, don't give them the lowest amount of money just to get a sponsorship. Like, yo, have some respect for yourself, man. It is it is a lot of work to edit videos and you know you have to make time to film it and all this stuff, get all the information to put in the, the, the description box. It can take hours for some people, not me, but for some people. So if you're going to request working with a brand for a sponsorship, yo, demand the highest pay you think you deserve. So if it's $500, like request that, like, don't be one of those 
influencers to a lot of requests, 50 bucks just, just to get a sponsorship. Like that's the, that's almost working for free, you know? So I'm going to request the highest amount, which is maybe $500 minimum. I make sure I go above and beyond and, you know, really expose the product or service. If I'm a fan of it, if I like what they're doing, the company, that's what I'm going to do. So I will make sure I do that for the brand. So long story short, do not sell yourself short. Request the highest amount you think you deserve. And last but not least, the last pro of FameBits is free stuff. Listen, I've gotten all kinds of stuff, electronics, wireless earphones, deodorants, clothes, shoes, you name it. I've gotten probably over $1,000 worth of stuff free. So that's one of the biggest pros about working in FameBit or just being an influencer or YouTuber, right? He's messing in my mouth. Getting free stuff. Like I, you can't beat that. You just can't. So I highly recommend using FameBit. It's one of the best ways to me to make some extra money online. It really is if you have enough followers and you know subscribers. Um, give it a try, man. It's a great way to network, meet some new people, build relationships, make money. So much opportunity. So much opportunity working in FameBit. Give it a try. Thanks for watching this video. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.